in this video, I want to talk about file and folder management using um, Windows Explorer, or but this is a Windows 10 environment, using your folders icon here on either the desktop or the taskbar. This is on the, for me, it's on the taskbar. So I clicked it and it opened up this area right here. And because I'm connected to the um, drives here at Clark College, here at work, then I get to see all the different um, uh, network drives and all the different uh, drives that are available to me. You can see I have my own drive. There's one that belongs to the BTEC department that we use. I belong on a committee. And these are the ones that are downstairs that are available to you students. So here's the biz lab on the, on the Ogre uh, biz lab files. And in student files, when I can click the down arrow here and get to the student files. So you can see the arrow expands and I'm gonna expand this. And so now I'm inside here, inside a folder, inside a subfolder. And when I click on the folder, this is called the folders pane. And when I click on the folder inside on the right hand side, you see the files and folders that are inside that folder. So when I click the down arrow over here, you can see it's called the folders pane because we only get to see folders. But inside the um, task pane, the working pane over here, you see the folders and the files. So remember, files and folders are two different things. Folders are nothing more than a place to hold files. Files are the actual documents, the working things that you need to use to get something done. And a folder is just a place to put that file, right? It's like a filing cabinet and you have folders inside the filing cabinet. The report itself is the paper that you put inside the folder. So we have these practice Windows files, and I, I should also say here at Clark, we have purposefully left the file extensions turned on. The default in Windows now is to have file extensions turned off. But file extensions are important because they tell you what program will open up when you click on that or double click on that file. So here we have .docx. Well, most of us know that's an, uh, a Word document, and we have the icon right here. I'm going to go into the Practice Windows folders by double-clicking. And in here, you can see XLS, DOC. So I know these are old files because they don't have the extra XLSX on them. So like down here, XLSX. So this is a newer version, and if you look at the icon of the older Excel and the newer Excel, you can see the, the icons look different. And that's fine, it's still gonna open up Excel. If I double click on this, Excel will open up, and look, it even tells me, Microsoft Excel 97 to 2003 worksheet. So that's an older version. Now these are just play documents. There's not really anything in them, or they might be tiny little, just tiny little words. They're just for playing and practicing with. But here we have an RMI. Now, you might not know what RMI is, but you probably know what Beethoven's fifth is. So when I double click on this, some kind of um, media will open up and we should hear, let me pull it down. <laughs> You see the file extension tells you what will open. So we have here, we have some TXTs in here. Here's one. A TXT is the minimum, the, the most basic word processing that a, any every computer in the world will understand. And when I open it, you'll see, it almost looks like a typewriter. You can see this is the font right here. You don't get that. All right, and a GIF, if you don't know, is a picture. So when I open this, yes, a picture of the moon pops up. Some program, whatever your default picture viewing program is, you might have it set to something different than just what Windows had. All right, so what I want you to do or what I want you to learn in class is the whole file and folder management. 
So if I was to look at a flash drive, and I'm going to plug in a flash drive. So let's look over here. I don't have one plugged in right now. So watch what happens when I plug one in. It should pop up. You heard a little sound, and here's the flash drive. So what I want you to be able to do um, is uh, copy things from uh, some Clark College or some, some folder or other file system into a flash drive or some other place. So it doesn't matter whether we're working in Dropbox and we have our all of our classes in different folders in Dropbox or in um, the Microsoft uh, One, Live One, I can't remember what it's called. It's all the same. When you have to organize yourself and keep everything in different files and uh, so you can different folders so you can find your files. So when I look at this, it's kind of messy. They're just all kind of plopped there. And I want a, a way, maybe I want all my Word docs together. Maybe I want all of these currency, money things together. Here's an accounts. Um, and here's some things about France. Maybe I want a folder about France. So when I go look for stuff, I don't have to look through 25 words to find it. I see three folders and inside one of those folders is what I need. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to, um, I want to copy these files into a folder over here. And I want to create a folder first. So I'm going to go to my E drive. You can see I already have some things in here. But I'm just going to, uh, it's, it's my habit to use a lot of right clicking when I'm in this Windows environment. So I'm going to right click. And I'm going to choose New Folder. And I'm going to call this folder BTEC 105 Play Files. Or we could just call them Play Files. Maybe I'll just call them Play Files. All right. Pardon me. So now I'm going to go back over here to my Practice Windows files over here. And I'm going to grab all of these files. Now, there's several different ways I can grab all of these files. Um, I can click on the first one, hold down the Shift key, and click on the last one. And it selects everything between those two clicks. I can click on the first one, and I can hold down the Control key, and then I can select just the ones I want, non-adjacent uh, files. Or I can... Um, draw a square around all of them and they're all selected. Um, I could do control A on my keyboard. Keyboard shortcut control A is select all. So some way grab all of them. I tend to use shift, uh, click, shift, click. That's my habit, but there's many different ways. I can probably grab them all from the file menu. No, let me see. I should be able to find a way to select all. Well, oh, here we go, select all. There's a, a menu up, I option up there. And they're all selected. So I'm gonna go over here to my DFC. This is my flash drive. Sometimes it comes in as E, F, G, or I don't know, the computer decides. So here's my play files folder. And now I can copy and paste. Um, I can use my keyboard shortcut, control C, and go over here and control V. But it's my habit just to click and drag. And you don't have to drag it right on top of that word. All you have to do is, once that play files turns blue, and you can see the words there copying to play files, it's going to copy them for me. And it's going to copy because I'm going from one drive, the X drive, to, the, to another drive, the E drive. So it copies. It doesn't move. Now, I just clicked on the word name here and it will alphabetize them A to Z. And when I click again, it'll go Z to A, in this case, T to A. I'm gonna go into my play files and I'm gonna click on these in here. I don't want to click on them in the student files. Because I'm a teacher, I can make changes in this um, student files. You can't because you're a student, but I, I just wanna be careful that I'm not making changes that I shouldn't. So I'm gonna close this up and now I just have them down here, my play files. <clears throat> so here we are. They look the same because they are the same. I copied all of them. 
So here's my date modified from the most recent um, to the oldest to the most recent to the most recent to the oldest. It'll, out, it'll organize them by file type. And in this case, it alphabetizes it. So G comes before M comes before T. And then in here, E Excel comes before W Word. So you can see how you can organize them that way. You can also um, organize them uh, by, mm, where's my, oh, here, on my layout, you can see large icons. Ooh, la la. Um, view, I like list, or in this case, we have it in details. Uh, this is the default, so we can see all of the different things. But at home, you probably have something like this, either tiles or, um, or small icons or something like that. I tend to at home have it as a list or a details view, just out of habit as a teacher. All right, so now let's make a folder in here. I'm, this video is getting long, so I, I want to hurry up. Let's make a folder in here and start organizing. So again, I'm going to right click somewhere. I don't want to right click on top of the cur on top of a file because it'll give me a menu about that file. I can open it, close it, print it. And I don't want that. I want down here in the white space, I want to say new folder. And it's going to pop in the bottom here. And I'm going to count can call this pics for pictures or pics. So now I want to move my pictures, which is moon, and I'm gonna hold down the control key and hit the GIF, and I'm gonna drag them both into the pictures. Now look at the screen tip, it's moving them. It's moving them and not copying because I'm in the same drive. I'm all in one place. I'm not going from one drive to another drive. All right, let's make another folder, new folder. And let's call this, um, I don't know, budget stuff. I use the word stuff a lot. All right, so I'm gonna grab accounts and hold down the control key and get that one and grab the currency. And I'm also going to grab the French XLS and the payment. I'm gonna grab all of the, yeah, I'm gonna grab all of the Excel files. So I've selected non-adjacent items, and I'm gonna grab them, and once budget stuff turns blue, I don't have to put it on top, just there, it'll move them. Now, what if I wanted to copy and not move? I'm gonna copy day trips to budget stuff, but I don't want to move it. So if I just click and drag, you can see it'll move it. So I can do it a couple of different ways. I can use my keyboard shortcut, Control C, um, and then go into budget stuff and control D. But my habit and what I do is because I like to click and drag, but instead of left dragging, I can right drag. And when I right drag, it says it's moving, but because I've right clicked, I'm going to get a menu. So my menu here, then I can copy. Okay. Now I can also do the same thing over to these um, objects down here. I can drag drive trip and whoops, let me grab just one and drag it into here, right? And into budget stuff. And these are my play files. So I want to see these folders. I'm sorry, I needed to open it up, didn't I? So here's my budget stuff and picks. And I can grab one of these and drag it into here or drag it into drag it in here. It doesn't matter which way you go. There or I keep dragging too much. There. Okay. So now I've put things into pics. Okay. And maybe I want to, I can also double click here and it opens up. I can also click here. Look, I can, I can grab, I can go all the way back to the beginning. Then I can double click. So I have this uh, menu bar up here I can play with. And so I want to move trip, um, all of these back out. So I'm going to move them all out. And this time I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to, I want to move them, not copy them. I want to move them. So I'm going to control X, which means cut. And look, the icon kind of grays out. And I'm going to go to play files. And I'm going to click down in here somewhere. And control V is my keyboard shortcut for paste. 
I also have that up here. I have copy, paste, cut. Okay, so they're all up there on the menu bar too. All right, let's delete Beethoven's Fifth. <clears throat> Pardon me. So it, it's very easy to do. You click on it. You hit the delete key on your uh, delete on your keyboard, or you can right click. <clears throat> pardon me, and choose delete, and it asks, do you want to permanently delete this? Okay, this is deleted. This is not, this is my flash drive. This is not the C drive. So when I say yes, it is not in the trash bin of my computer. It is, it is off of my flash drive. <clears throat> so it, it and there are ways to try to save it. There's undelete software. We won't get into that and what happens, why did it delete? And, but just know that when you delete something off your flash drive, it's usually deleted. Okay, last thing, and then I need to stop this video. I want to rename this to something else. So I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna rename. And I'll rename it um, Pixamoon or something like that. Okay, so that's it, just right click. So mainly that's the, the, the things I want you to understand is how to put things into a folder, move them around, copy, paste, delete. Um, these are just play files. You can do what you want with them. There's nothing in here that's, that's real. And uh, so it doesn't matter whether you're working with Dropbox folders or um, flash drive folders. Uh, folders on your C drive, but you need to learn to organize your information and not have 20, 40, 60 files just sitting there <clears throat> that you're spending time searching through trying to find what you want. I want you to understand how to make files, move folders, name folders, rename folders, delete files. Okay? All right, good.